What's up, people? How you doing? This is DC, Mr. Kingdom Truth himself. I'm probably gonna put this on both of my channels because it's, it's very, a bit, a very interesting morning. But um, <clears throat> so I was training a couple of my clients. Um, I'll mention it here on the channel for a couple of you, but you know, nobody really pays attention to me that much anyway. I was training a couple of my clients, Steve Smith and Gerard, and got um, invited to the kids for beds events where they give kids and families that are that don't have beds and shelters and beds and dressers and things like that for their house and kitchen kitchen dining sets and the like <clears throat> so Gerard who is the I think he's the president of the um, Steve Smith Foundation told me I'd signed up of course I don't remember when I signed up or if I signed up so of course you know I said I go and it's no big deal it's a volunteer thing so I get there, and I actually met, meet Donna D.C. Caldwell, who actually signed up for the event. Not me, Donna D.C. Caldwell. Well, I meet her, we talk for a little bit, and, you know, laugh. And after a while, at the end of the event, I step to the side, and I'm like, okay, so where are you from, Donna? And she tells me that her dad is from Morganton. A lot of her family is still in Morganton. And I'm like, holy God, um, that's where my grandfather's from. That's where a lot of my family grew up at. <clears throat> so after talking for about five minutes, we figured, figured out that we're related. We are related. <laughs> and of course, uh, a friend of mine comes up to us and says, um, Donna is Filipino. It's Filipino. She looks like it. She's a beautiful girl. And um, so a friend of mine comes up and he says, oh, so your dad's black. And we started laughing, laughing of course. But I say all of this to say, number one, this wasn't even something I signed up for. And then I actually get there and meet some great people, do a great service for somebody, um, fixing their, getting, giving away beds, and they do a lot of um, furniture, <clears throat> a lot of cleaning and refurnishing furniture and stuff like that for families in need. And um, then I meet, my cousin, somewhere down the line, I, I got to talk to my family and figure out, talk to my mom and figure out exactly how we're related, but I've heard a couple of names and I'm pretty sure that I know all of them, or I've heard of some of, most of them. But um, it's a very interesting thing. Um, best for kids, best for kids. It's on Tryon Street. Um, they do a lot of work with, like I said, um, unfortunate fa fa families with in unfortunate situations that need things. I mean, they were telling us about this one family who, <clears throat> you know, they visited and the 18 year old kid looked at them and said, thank you very much. It's the first time I've ever had a bed. The first time you've ever had a bed at 18 years old. Now, that's very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate that you had to wait till 18 to sleep on a real authentic bed that most people sleep on every day. But still, we are a privileged culture that don't know how good we have it most of the time. Like um, the conversation we had at the end where <clears throat> He says, you know, we get in our cars, we go back to our homes, we go back to our beds, we go back to our jobs, and, you know, it's a privilege to be able to live comfortably here, because a lot of people don't have the things that we have. A lot of people don't, can't do the things that we do, you know. So it's, it's been a very interesting morning, and I actually met some family a long lost cousin I didn't even know I had. Now that is the most interesting thing today right there. I'm telling you, that's that's really, really, really interesting because you know I'm an energy guy. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is I seek to understand energy, not believe energy because basically what I'm using right now to speak to you and to drive at the same time is energy and focus. And I am consciously using my energy and focus in the direction that I want to go in, which is toward home and speaking on this video right now. I have a focus and I focus my energy and that's the way it's going. That's the way energy is supposed to use. It's supposed to be focused. 
like for instance we talked about kids this morning we know kids that have no focus no purpose no passion will pretty much run themselves in the ground like the Tasmanian devil just going around and around in their own soup of shit <clears throat> that's just what it is with no direction no purpose you're not going anywhere you know that you don't when I get on 485 I'm coming home I don't get on 77 North to go home I don't my home is not that way same thing goes in life it's about energy the energy you're using and which direction do you have the energy focused in and are you focusing mindfully with that energy or are you just all over the place from one thing or the next so it's been a very good morning I thought I'd say hello hope everybody everybody has a great day planned for this Saturday I'm gonna go home and eat with my girls I'll see everybody later this is Kingdom Truth out Peace.